The title of this project is Body Double, Anodated Atlas. During the height of the pandemic, when we were all isolated in our cubicles, I was um, living in a, in a building, quite a large building, um, with studio space. So I was lucky I could continue working. And of course, as with everybody, I was listening to the news and thinking about global impact and how we're all together because of the pandemic. And so I was really focused, you know, I was looking every day at the COVID map in terms of the numbers in different places. I was personally prevented from going to see my immediate family because I could not fly into that country. And I bought an atlas. At that time, I was invited to participate in a conversation every Sunday, which I did for 18 months. The group was initiated by the 16 Beaver, um, Aireen Anastas and Renee Gabri. So every Sunday for sometimes four hours, we would all gather on Zoom, people from everywhere in the planet, and that's inclusive of the global east and the global south. So it was really a panoply of participators from everywhere in the world. Each week there was somebody who presented some project or experience they had been having. So um, filmmakers from the Rojava Film Commune, the Kurdish from um, northern Iraq, or um, people who were helping uh, advocate for squatters in Hong Kong. So every week I was listening to people's real life experiences. And, I, and as time went on, I began to really look forward to those conversations. They took on a very deep meaning, again, because I was in the space alone. And at some point had started working on the atlas. Well, it began as one atlas, but it took time. I had to wait for the, this is ink. I had to, it's mostly pigment, actually. I had to wait for the pigment to dry, so I got a second book so I could keep busy. And there's a series of doubling. There's the doubling of the page, which is sort of Rorschach insinuated, right? The ink, and then each one, you know, put the ink, page, press it. That's how you get the. And then sometimes I would go in a couple times. Then the Rorschach doubling within the book, and then the double book. So. And I've always thought one of my beloved German words is the doppelganger. And the doppelganger is the stand-in and it's the trickster. So on the other hand, who's the stand-in and who's the trickster? What I did was every time I would open a new page. So opening a new page was also a new beginning, thinking about that geographical area. And I would do a little bit of research, some of which I knew, um, but I would research the area and then respond in some way through the drawing or the Rorschach. Um, My focus in terms of the research was the environment, the history of conflict,
acquisition, deacquisition, the decision to only use blue, came to see it as a way to be consistent about the idea of it being elegiac. The atlas is the 1983 version, and so, for instance, with the former Yugoslavia, as an example, the, the country of Yugoslavia no longer exists, and it's now five, five separate countries. And, and I think, in, in particular, this area, because that fragmentation happened during my lifetime, so in a way, it is sort of like perception of lived history of change, which includes always, always conflict and slaughter and environmental destruction. Um, this, I, I remember the Yugoslavia page was particularly, um, you know, it was difficult. And like, how do I respond to that? Moving ahead. The uh, Marshall Islands, where the U.S. in the early 1950s conducted all of the neutron bomb experiments directly after bombing Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And when you looking at these small, what you can imagine, South Pacific, beautiful water, beautiful sea creatures. So when you look at a map, a map is neutral. And, but at the same time, the history of the map is anything but neutral. And knowing that this sort of beautiful place and how it's contaminated for millennium with the um, aftermath of um, radioactivity. By the time I got here, I had been thinking through every area and sort of looking closely at every area, having many, many thoughts that were mostly thinking about national identities and um, country borders, what countries are next to other countries, what do I know or don't know, mostly don't know. Certainly after doing this project, know a lot more. Um, and then coming to the index was the space where I was no longer responding to the map of a specific location, but I was able to just respond to my own more interior thinking about the place that's our home. And again, to double back over, which is very important, it was during COVID. And this project would not have happened without COVID. It would not have happened without those weekly meetings. There are two books, so every page, you could go to this page of the other book and there would be the sort of call and response, which at times I was actively doing a call and response between the two books. see this as a book that you look at turning page to page. I see it more as two books side by side open to a specific page. <laughs> 